So, welcome. And there's my new haircut for anyone who, who knew that I was going to uh, chop off my locks. <laughs> That's it. That's me. That's the new me. It's all gone. And uh, good morning. Good morning from Newcastle. Oh, Kari, that's lovely. You're so sweet. Good morning. We're here at Merriweather Beach uh, in Newcastle. And it is Friday morning, 6.15, sunrise on Merriweather Beach. And before we begin, I'd just like to acknowledge that we're meeting today on the traditional lands of the Awabakal people and pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. And you guys are all so kind, but I think this looks more beautiful. So... Let's go off and enjoy this stunning morning. We're going to enjoy it together. You guys are lovely. Thank you, Joanne. Uh, good morning, Joanne, rather. Thank you, everybody, for the compliments. As I said, you're all too kind. So we're here at Merriweather. Merriweather Beach is just to the south of Newcastle City. It took us 15 minutes to drive here from where we're living at the moment. I can see the signal is bouncing around a little. Um, so we're going to get up and start moving and... While I've stood here in the one place and haven't moved, it's gone from one to four. So uh, we're just going to deal with it. Hi, Joanna. Thank you, Joanna. Hi, Deirdre. Hi, Joss. All right, so let's, uh, let's walk up this way first of all, and I'll kind of give you a little bit of orientation, and then we'll head down to the ocean baths. We're going to come back at the end of the tour and explore this tunnel. So I won't give too much away just at the moment. Um, here we have on our right, there's kind of a restaurant and cafe up here and it's called the Merriweather Surf House. That's it there. I'm not gonna go down these steps. I'm just gonna go over here to where we can see the beach looking to the north. Hi Anna, hi Connie, hi Jodie. Krista, Krista, welcome. So we're just gonna look down here first of all, look at that. The sky's starting to color up. Sunrise is in about 20 minutes from now. So we're just going to spend the next 20 minutes Really taking advantage of this gorgeous colour in the sky. Hi, Pat. And uh, I think I've got everybody else, Connie. Yep, welcome. Okay, so looking to the north here, I won't, um, I won't go all the way over, but looking to the north here from this point is Newcastle City. Can't really see it from there, can you? Newcastle City in that direction. Look at this gorgeous venue. Imagine being able to sit up there. It's not open, of course, but imagine if you were able to sit up there and look out at the sunrise from there, having a lovely tea, breakfast. Hi, Tina. Joanna says, I love the beach and sunrises and sunsets. Yeah, it's hard not to, isn't it? So, Merriweather Beach. At the northern end of Merriweather Beach is uh, Bar Beach and Cooks Hill. Uh, so it's a long stretch of beach and uh, encompasses several breaks. For me, the highlight of the beach, of course, is the Merriweather Baths. And of course, Australia is famous. It's famous for its beaches. And sorry, well, I've just got to, I just have to pause here and look at this. Let's, let's try and get this street lamp out of the way. That's beautiful. That's amazing. All right, let's zoom in on that. Oh, thank you, Corinne. Hi, Evie. Thank you, Anne. Yeah, we're really going to see the sun this morning cross the horizon because there's no, no clouds right on the horizon as such obscuring the sun this morning. So probably less well known is how uh, is our ocean baths. Everyone knows Bondi, of course, but New South Wales, uh, which actually has the majority of Australia's ocean baths, has more than a hundred 
ocean baths. So from Yamba in the north down to uh, what's Eden. Eden, I think, is the one further south in New South Wales. There's a hundred or so ocean baths. Let's go past this Norfolk pine tree. Although that makes quite an interesting view, doesn't it? Look at that. It's just sort of get you get you the best shot here. Wow. Gorgeous. How amazing. How beautiful. Hi, Mosh. Hi, Jose. Thanks for getting up early for us. You're welcome, Cindy. Oh, do you know what? I um, actually have a better day when I get up early and, and start the day this way. I don't know about you guys, but I really, really love, it's a struggle at the time, but once you get out of here, <laughs> how amazing. Uh, thank you for sharing this. I'm amazed you're awake. <laughs> so am I, Turi. What time is it there? It's uh, 6.20 a.m. First time to Ken and Tammy, I thought I didn't recognize your name and welcome. Lovely to have you here. It was meant to be. I didn't know about this too. I'm really glad I saw, needed to see. This brings joy to my heart. Oh, Joanna, let's let's make it really special for you. So we're going to focus obviously on the beautiful views. There'll be a little bit of talking. I don't have huge amount of facts and figures, but I have a little bit. And, uh, and let's just really enjoy this amazing sight this morning. This is part of what's called the Bather's Way, which is a coastal walk, and there are markers along the way. So this one here actually tells you that you are on Bather's Way, and that sort of is an illustration of a, an old-fashioned swimsuit. <laughs> and then here is a representation of the coast from Nobby's Beach in the north, right over there. We've done a couple of tours from Nobby's Head. Uh, following the coast, there's Newcastle, Newcastle Baths. And we are, where are we? We're just down here. So that's the representation of the coast. All right, let's keep an eye on this uh, beautiful sky. Let's just zoom in on that for a second. You can see the headland over there. And we'll do a very slow pan across. Hi, Lauren. Hi, Dawn, and thanks for the follow. So we're going to slowly make our way towards the ocean baths and I'll tell you a little bit about the ocean baths as we do. Hi, B. Before we get there, it's actually high tide at the moment. When we were here, uh, was it yesterday or the day before? It might have been the day before. This was all exposed rock platform out here. And there's actually a third baths or pool in this area uh, where people were wading. And uh, so that's more of a natural rock formation. <clears throat> but it's also a roosting place for some of our shorebirds. I'm just letting some people pass. It's a very popular walking uh, strip along here. There's lots of walkers. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, B. So this um, information plaque actually tells you a little bit about the some of the um, endangered shorebirds that actually use this place for roosting and nesting. So we're going to walk a little bit along, round past the pool. So this is the pool here. We'll walk around past the pool. Um, we'll actually take this line, not the not out. It's out at sea at the moment. Um, just a little bit beyond it come out to about this point here, tide permitting and signal permitting as well. And uh, we'll see what the headland looks like around that point. And here are some of the endangered shorebirds that use this place for nesting and roosting. 
We'll see if we can see some of those. I'm not sure if they're about right now, if it's the right season for them, but we'll see if we can see some of them. And here is the Merriweather Ocean Baths. So look at it from up above, first of all. This is the largest ocean baths in Australia. And there's a shallow pool in front and then there's a deeper pool behind. They're both 100 metres in length. So the one behind, you can actually see the starting blocks. So that's 50 metres across. So the lanes go this way. So 50 metres by 100 metres, that's the size of a football field. And this was constructed in 1935. Hi, Lethargy. Did I miss you? I think I'm not sure if I welcomed you or not. And if I missed you, welcome. Lovely to see you again. Hi, AJ. And look at all those people out there exercising. So some of you might recall that we're doing, uh, we're living in our daughter's house and it doesn't have a bathroom at the moment. So we've been coming down to various locations in Newcastle. There's the, um, the council pool, but this one as well. This is free to come to, by the way. There's no admission charge to use Merriweather baths and they've got two hot showers in there and look at this staircase this is a popular spot for very fit people they run up and down those stairs no thanks <laughs> and you can see how full the car park is I don't think I've ever seen it with uh, more than one or two spare spots. Joanna says, I so remember tours you've done. Thank you for staying and showing your beautiful world. You're very welcome. Lifeguards on duty in the dark. I don't believe that there would be lifeguards on duty 24-7. I think at certain times a day you would be using these facilities at your own risk, but I, I don't know for sure. Don't, don't quote me on that. <laughs> But I can't imagine there being a lifeguard here at 3 a.m. Alrighty, let's go out. I'm really glad we started early because we got the very best of the light out there out to see. It's just starting to fade to a, a more pastel shade right now. Yes, that's right, Joanna. We sold our house. We're living with our daughter at the moment. And uh, next week, maybe, things may change. We're hopeful. Next week we will head off on a bit of a road trip. It looks like there's been some um, earth moving activity here of some sort. I don't know what's been going on. There's been a bit of a, I can see tracks and, and uh, what have you. So I'm not sure what's been happening here overnight. Michelle, it's still lovely out there, the, the, but the beautiful colours were just as I came on. But sunrise hasn't happened yet. It's still 10 minutes till actual sunrise. So we still will see some changing colors on the horizon. Hi Rose. Hi Laurie. Welcome. And hi Dunya. And sometimes I, I welcome you too soon before you've unmuted yourself. So I hope you've all managed to hear me welcome you onto this beautiful tour this morning. Look at all those people exercising out there. It's such a large group. They all look like they're doing acrobatics. All right, so what I'll do is I'll walk around the pool, or maybe not. I just noticed the waves are breaking over the edge. We might not walk along that far wall. I'll make a call when I get out there. So this is the shallow pool. And it's shallow enough for me to do pool walking, which I prefer over swimming these days. I've never been much of a swimmer, to be honest. Water temp. Cindy, I actually don't know. I should have looked it up, but I'm, I'm going to hazard a guess that it's around about 18, 19 degrees. Uh, the air temperature right now is at about 18 or 19, and uh, we're heading for a 28 degrees today.